Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick update because I tried to write out what had happened with my spinal tap and it's just too hard and confusing to put in words and requires too much brain activity. So I'm just going to videotape real fast. <clears throat> so anyhow, um, I googled spinal taps online and a lot of the ways they do it was having you sit up and fold over or like bend over a pillow or lay on your side um, in a curled up like kind of fetal position. They do it different um, at the hospital I went to so what they had me do was lay on um, a bed on my tummy or like a, a, a medical bed and there's an x-ray machine that um, x-rays the spine and then gives the doctor an idea of what like part of the spine he wants to go in what location <clears throat> so he finds his ideal spot of where he wants to go in to pull out the spinal fluid and then you know you get started so here I am on this bed he finds his spot he puts in the needle and thumbs me up it's not great it's not horrible um, we're doing fine and and then all of a sudden the fluid won't come out so it just kind of gets stuck. So what I didn't know was the bed that I'm at on that's flat has this um, lever <clears throat> where you can lift it. So he tells the nurse to lift the head of the bed. So what do I instinctively do is I grab onto the top. And they say you can let go because there's a foot bar down at the bottom. But it's a long bed and I don't know like how far a drop it is for me to slide down off this bed because they have me elevated like very high and so I'm refusing to let go because I have a needle in my back and I don't want to slide down this bed and come to this like jolting stop with this huge needle in my spine so I'm just like gripping on for dear life and so he's like okay so he proceeds he cannot get the fluid to come out so he is digging this needle and moving this needle around in my spine and I'm gripping onto the top of the bed so like hard and I mean it's hurting it's sending pain into my hip the left side of my hip all the way down my leg it hurts bad and at first I'm trying to just um, take it and hopefully it'll be over with soon but it, it gets so intense I I just like cry out um, and by this time I'm crying real tears and I I say something along the lines of can we just stop it's not working well <clears throat> he decides he needs a new location so he uh, re x-rays my spine and um, decides to go in at another location and everything runs completely smooth from there so I mean, I wish it had gone that smooth to begin with, but I mean, that's my luck, right? So it didn't. Um, after everything was said and done and he's washing up, he's getting a, a giggle and he proceeds to, to tell the nurses that I've never had anybody try and tap out <laughs> and tells, um, tells the nurses that basically I was trying to tap out and put the blame on him by saying, just tell them it didn't work. I'm done. It's not working. Just tell them it wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to work. So he says I was trying to tap out and put the blame on the doctor. So he said that was going to be the new quote for the day. And, um, and they were all giggling while I was recovering. So <laughs> that, um, that's what happened in a nutshell. So instead of the six to eight hours of rest, I do have two puncture spots. I'm going to take it, um, probably through tomorrow of just laying down I'm allowed one pillow and I have to just lay down and take it easy for the next day or so so movie marathon that's my update thanks everybody for checking in for praying for me all right peace out